Righto, good afternoon everyone. I'd just like to give you a quick overview of the in paddock uh, feeding system that we're uh, undertaking um, during this quarter and throughout the challenge. Um, a more comprehensive view of uh, what we've been trying to achieve in the last quarter will be in our uh, written blog uh, with a whole bunch of photos and things like that which will be uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, more interesting. Um, first of all, I'd just like to take you through um, this is just a general run of, of cattle we, we have coming through the system towards the end of the year. Um, as you can see there's uh, a few undesirable cattle, um, a few Brahmins in there. This is uh, probably just due to the, um, the lack of supply and um, due to the season being the way it is, um, these are just the kind of cattle we've been able to access. Um, what we're trying to achieve here is by feeding them in the paddock um, a romance and, and cotton, sea, cotton meal um, the ration is to get their guts uh, turned, get the, get the microbes uh, turning into the, in their stomachs so that they uh, can better accept the grain ration that they're going to be on in another two to three weeks. Uh, these animals we'd like them to be in here for anywhere from 20 to 30 days. Um, off this sort of country, off the sort of grass that you'll be able to see around here, we're, we've been able to achieve uh, 0.5 to 0.7 weight gain, which is um, which is quite good really, um, considering that without this sort of a ration um, they would be probably standing still or only doing 0.1. This is something, this sort of a, an idea was something that we worked through with Robert Gill, our mentor. He probably gave us the confidence to give this a go and um, probably look at it at, at a different sort of a way than just spending money on your cattle in the, in the paddock. Um, we're seeing some really good results. The first mob's just gone through the feedlot. Uh, they, they got onto their, their starter ration really quickly within the first 14 days, which is um, a, bit of a, a bit of a benchmark, the goal, which is great. They uh, finished up their, their bunkers all the time and we had um, no health problems, so that's a big plus. Their conversions and their closeouts um, will be uh, written up and I'll probably give them to you in another blog. Uh, they'll be quite interesting to see. That'll be um, basically the, the wrap up of the program them and there will be the figures that we really want to look at uh, because the main reason we're doing this is, is to improve the feedlot performance. Now, as we walk over here to the feeder, you'll see that there's plenty of access for all the animals to, to get a good feed and they're, they're looking at um, between 1.5 to 2 kilograms a day for the pellets to achieve the weight gains we want. So Lachlan, what's the main reason why you're doing this production feeding? Uh, this production feeding or our in paddock ration system here is uh, mainly to address one of our major KPIs at our backgrounding system and that's to um, get them at an ideal weight and ideal condition score going into the feedlot. Now as you would appreciate uh, this year that's a little bit difficult due to the season that we're having. However the best, uh, best outcome we can have is to probably get these cattle and move them into the next uh, condition score which most of these cattle, um, as you can see this animal behind me is probably or closer to three, um, and that's we want that animal to, to just get a little bit more cover on her, um, have her moving forward a little bit, mainly so, like I said before, she can accept the grain ration a little bit easier going into the feedlot. Um, down here, we, we've got a pellet, a pellets. This is um, basically what they're all eating. It's brought out here uh, and delivered on site. It just helps a lot with the labour, and there's not a lot of uh, mucking around from our point. Um, you pay for that, but we don't really have the facilities to, to do this ourselves as yet. Um, these animals that we've got here, uh, these animals are probably going to be drafted in the next uh, two weeks. We'll get the ones that are probably uh, moving forward, the ones that are um, we, we, we consider as a, a little bit fuller, their manure is good, uh, they'll be the ones that go to the feedlot. And um, that's basically at this time of the year, uh, with the weather that we're having, is the, is the best way to to um, get an indication of the, of the animals. How long have they been on the feed so far Lachlan and how long do you keep them on this um, paddock ration system? Right, well these animals have only been on this feed for, for 10 days. Now ideally I'd like to see them anywhere between 20 to 30 days. Um, after that long the economics of it probably don't really stack up. Um, these animals, um, as I said, all of them is 200 here and um, I'm reasonably happy with where they are in 10 days. Their consumptions are probably where they need to be, uh, at 1.5 to uh, uh, 2 kilograms a day. Anything over 3 to 4 kilograms a day, we know we've got an issue with the protein in our grass. Uh, is everything on the properties fed this same system, Lachlan? No, the, 
most of our animals only being 200 we've got uh, 1200 animals on the property at the moment so um, 200 of them on this and the other thousand are on a loose lick um, supplementation they've been on that now for uh, two months so uh, we've, we've the protein and energy has probably gone out of our grass and um, what we've got to work with now we're probably going to have to go through with it until probably November is all the reports we're seeing that we're going to get a bit of a break so the loose lick just helps them um, probably stay where we want them uh, maybe not put on a lot of weight 0 0.1 0 0.2 but definitely not go backwards because that wouldn't be ideal how do you determine if you've got enough grass to support your feeders? Uh, we use uh, an application called Stock Take Plus. It was uh, designed by Future Beef. We use it on our iPhones and iPads uh, just about every day and um, about at least twice during the period of these cattle being on the feeder. And how does the app work? Basically the app, um, you, you, you go out into the paddock, you take photos of, um, of the country that you've got. Uh, there's a whole bunch of um, grass condition scores and uh, grass types. You match that up with the land types and the grass you have in your paddock and it gives you an indication of the body of, of, of quality grass that you have there and a real ballpark indication of how long the animals could stay in the paddock. Right, that's pretty much all we've got here. Um, I might wrap it up there so I don't go on for too much longer. Um, I hope you've um, got a little bit of insight into what we're doing here at Jalaka and um, in my next video we might talk a little bit more about what's happening in Bankery. Thank you everyone.